local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Well, there have been some changes with the uh, alerts out right now. Uh, the winter weather advisory for some of the north central has been allowed to expire because conditions have improved, but it's also getting colder. So the weather service has now added uh, seven counties in the north central and northwest to a uh, wind chill advisory. That goes into effect at midnight tonight. We still have the winter weather advisory uh, for these counties until 3 a.m. Looking at the temperatures, Lots of single digits, and we'll see it on a map here in a little bit. Bismarck, one of the warmer areas at 13 degrees, but that 25-mile-an-hour wind is going to make it feel a whole lot colder than that. But the visibility, just even on these shots, has improved from earlier today. So here we are with single digits for a lot of places in the north, still hanging on to some double digits in the south. And for overnight tonight, the temperatures for nearly everybody will be in the single digits, but many of them will be below zero. And as we look at the wind speed, still 25. 2025 20, up to 30 miles an hour and overall since six o'clock tonight it's probably dropped off a tiny little bit still very blustery outside which is called it causing some blowing snow issues and it's blowing and drifting snow on the highways and so this uh, road report I just updated it like three minutes ago now a lot of purple showing up in the map in the south central around Bismarck that would be scattered snow on the roads I would expect these roads to start uh, being becoming more weather impacted during during the overnight hours. So if you're going to get up tomorrow morning, uh, Dave Holder's actually working tomorrow morning. He'll have the latest road report for you. But if you need it anytime, just use the KX Storm Team weather app. But uh, certainly problems out uh, driving around because of the blowing and drifting snow. Even though it's not heavy, it's blowing around. You can actually see a little bit of it right there on our live shot in Harvey. Yeah, you can kind of see it through the lights right there. And when you get out in the open countries, it's even worse. So here's a look at the satellite and the radar. So the snow is moving off. We're probably going to end up one to two inches for a lot of locations. Really not a heavy snowmaker, but it's getting cold and it's blowing around quite a bit. But look over into Minnesota. They have a little bit of everything. I'm going to pull out here so you can see what's going on. And things have moved since earlier tonight. In Minnesota, uh, this has been a record-setting day for a lot of reasons. Uh, Minnesota had its first and its second tornado watch in December. Uh, they've had their first tornadoes in December ever. Uh, they've had in one day had uh, tornadoes, severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, blizzard type conditions, heavy snow, and rain. Pretty much everything you can have at any point during the year in Minnesota, they had it in one day today. And the storms are moving so fast that the National Weather Service were talking about in the southern part of the state that the storms could be moving so fast that like if you were outside trying to watch these storms, that they were moving so fast that if you saw the storm, you may not be able to get to shelter before it was on top of you. These, some of these storms are moving 80 to 100 miles an hour. Just the storm. And then you toss in wind on top of that. Just, a, just an awful night. So now the, the uh, severe weather is really moving off to the east of Minnesota into Wisconsin and now western uh, uh, Illinois. But it has been a bad, bad night. And so now the big thing is we've got a lot of snow here. So if you're going to be traveling towards maybe either the cities, you're going to be driving through some, some snow by tomorrow. So the wind chill forecast for tomorrow morning. This is what you'll need to dress for or the kids will need to prepare for if they're waiting for school buses. And then uh, for the 72-hour planner for Dickinson, it is going to get colder. We could get some more snow on Friday and uh, better chance of snow probably in the north. But to look how cold it could be Friday night in Williston. High temperatures tomorrow will be single digits, teens to maybe some 20s in the south. Uh, here's a look at the Bismarck seven-day outlook. And uh, these temperatures really never warm up a lot. It's not like it's going to be January cold. I'm not saying that. But it does look like we're going to be cold probably through Christmas Day, unfortunately. Yeah, Tom was out of, outside a short time ago, and those winds were certainly something to contend with. Keep it here. Sports is a